The Bird Art Museum is a fabulous new addition to MSU and to this region. It's a very unique structure designed by a world-renowned architect, Zaha Hadid, Pritzker Prize-winning architect, one of the best there is. It's the second building she's designed in the U.S. The other one is in Cincinnati, so we're just very fortunate to have this here. The museum is primarily display space, so we'll have a wonderful amount of room to uh, display artwork. We have seven gallery spaces, three on the first floor, three on the second floor, and one on the lower level. So people will have an opportunity to see some tremendous artwork throughout the museum, which is very exciting to us. The mission of the museum will display both artwork from the Krusty Collection, which was on campus, and that we have inherited some wonderful pieces in that collection, uh, which span the course of, you know, many, many years, uh, as well as contemporary art, which is the primary focus of the museum. So it'll give our curators a chance to sort of look back in time where artists got their ideas and utilize that information in conjunction with loans and other works that we will acquire to display from contemporary artists all over the world. Well, we're really looking to open by the end of the year, and we're just very excited about what's going to be here. We have about $3 million left to raise. Beyond that, we're going to need a lot of people to support us with memberships and with operational costs and with exhibitions and sponsorships and all the wonderful things that help make a museum possible. And we really believe that our campus and our community are going to embrace this museum because it's a world-class facility. It's like nothing else in the state. Um, it's really like very little else in the United States. So we have some very unique opportunities with this museum. And we just truly invite everybody to be, be a part of it, take a part of it, support us, visit us, and help to improve our area, our region, with a wonderful new piece of arts and culture that will transform the area, we're convinced. So it gives us an opportunity as curators, as directors, as folks working in the museum to really educate and to show people and have them experience artwork that they just might not otherwise see without traveling very far to do so. So we're very excited about the educational opportunities, also the performance spaces. There's going to be a lot happening in this museum, not just a solemn place to view artwork, but a chance for people to come in and have you know, see dance and see bands play and see jazz and maybe see a rock star, you know, whatever we can think up and dream up to, um, to really help to make this something that the public is not only going to come and view, but to experience and to celebrate. And I pray.